Hey everyone, it's Bill Seagrose with Clip Software. Today I'm going to give you an overview of our new Clip ITC app. We just released it to the iOS App Store and the Google Play Store. Just search the term Clip ITC. When you log into the app, it drops you off at the daily work screen. This is the list of jobs you've got for the day in the order of the way you routed them. If we click on a job, you'll see notes, details, and contact. Remember, permissions are all controlled by you. If you don't want your crew seeing certain details but want them to see others, you can customize it in the Clip ITC main settings. You can leave notes for your crew here. The space is perfect for small notes about the job, maybe something to look out for like a loose dog in the backyard or specifics about how a customer likes their lawn done. You can see details about the job, add pictures, conditions, or collect a signature from the customer if you need it. And see the contact info for the customer as well, just in case your crew is running late or if the customer requests a call from the foreman to make sure that they are aware of something. You'll notice a new stacked dots icon at the bottom right as well. This is for other job functions such as skip job, edit employee times, add additional charge, and add job. Adding a job will allow you to add another job to the customer you have on your screen that they may have requested in the past. So if they've gotten weeding from you in the past, you can add it there. If you want to navigate to the job, just click on the map icon and Clip ITC will open up your default maps application. And just like the old Clip ITC app, you can start, stop, and pause the job. If your next stop has multiple jobs in the same location, you can easily group them. Just click the group icon at the bottom and select which one of the jobs in your job bank you want to group with the current job. You can start and stop on that group and Clip ITC will automatically assign times to the jobs. If you click the gear icon at the bottom right, it'll take you to your settings screen. There, you can choose what you see on the daily work screen. You can also toggle show completed jobs if you do or don't want to see the jobs you've finished. You can also select your crew and see the members of that crew. You can now populate your work bank or select get work right in the app. You can also optimize your route from the app. If plans change during the day, you can switch it up on the fly and even pick a new starting location. Then you can optimize using Google Maps or drag and drop to put one job in front of the other. Another feature we've added is the ability to finalize jobs within the app. That lets your crew leader or whomever you've given permission to finalize the job so all you have to do in the office is invoice. We've also added weather options. Connecting with the Dark Sky API, your Clip ITC app will now automatically report weather conditions if you wanted to. You can also use the materials report so you can make sure your crew's got all the materials they need before heading out for the day. To-dos is a new screen as well. You can update the app real time to give the crew to-do items. This will let office staff update the crew and assign tasks, like if a customer calls in to let them know they did a great job or if they need to go back and make a second pass with the blower. One of the most requested features we've had over the years is to add translation to the app. Now we've done it, and you can select English or Spanish for the entire app. All of the functions and screens will read in either language you choose. Check out the video we have on our YouTube channel that'll show the entire app translated in Spanish. There's a time clock option at the bottom, which will let your crew leader punch their team in and out of work for the day. They can also add employees to a crew. We hope these changes to the app will make your business more efficient. And we've got plenty more coming, so just stay tuned.